Hi students, I am Pramit Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing how to build a high quality software. The software process transforms the user need via an application domain to a software solution that satisfies the needs of a particular user. High quality product must meet the user needs and expectations. The quality of the product should be improved prior to delivery rather than correcting them after delivery. To achieve high quality software, we need to able to answer the following questions. Those questions are, how do we determine when the system is ready for delivery? It is now operational system that satisfies user need. Is it correct and operating as we thought it should? And does it pass an evaluation process? There are different approaches for system software testing. Blum describes a means of system evaluation in terms of four quality measures. Those measures are correspondence, correctness, verification and validation. The term correspondence means how well the delivered system matches the needs of operational environment as described in the original requirement statement. Validation is the task of predicting the correspondence. True correspondence can be determined only after the system is in place. Correctness measures the consistency of the product requirements with respect to the design specification and verification is the exercise to determining correctness. Baum observes these quality measures, verification and validation is answering the following questions. The verification means, am I building the product right? And validation means, am I building the right product? Then there arise a question, what are the keys to developing and maintaining high quality software? The keys consist of following these seven guidelines. To create software that's of high quality, we should dedicate a specific amount of time for developers to read business requirement documentations. Secondly, find errors early in the development phase. Thirdly, train the developers and staffs responsible for quality assurance to improve their technical and analysis skill. Fourthly, create user and technical documentations. Fifthly, have continuous peer reviews or create quality circles to code the reviews. Sixthly, follow certain standards and procedures like adding comments in the code and other type of documentations to ensure the quality of a software and finally create test cases and share them with the clients. All these seven guidelines ensures to develop a good quality software as per the requirement of the customer. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. The assignment question is write in detail about building high quality software. So my dear students, see you soon. In the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the object oriented system development, a use case driven approach. So my dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.